The University of KwaZulu-Natal is based in Durban, uh, which is the largest city in the South African province of KwaZulu-Natal and has a population of almost 3.5 million. It is also the second most important manufacturing hub in South Africa after Johannesburg and has more than 45,000 registered students based on five campuses, 10,000 of whom are postgraduate students. The university also hosts approximately 5,000 staff. It is currently ranked in the top 2% of universities worldwide according to various university rankings. Furthermore, it is placed first in the continent of Africa according to the latest Webometrics rankings. The mission of the university is to become the premier University of African scholarship while being preeminent in research. Our aim is to be a first choice university for students and researchers worldwide and to collaborate with other world leading universities and research institutions. Uh, quantum technology at UKZ10 started essentially after I was appointed here in 2004 and with, with a grant of the Innovation Fund we were able to start experimental activities. Today we have experimental labs in, in quantum optics, in cold atoms and in nanophotonics. We have been working traditionally on the theory of open quantum systems and their application to, to quantum technology. And recently we, we've come up with a new type of quantum work that we call the open quantum work and we are trying to exploit its potential for dissipative quantum computing. Yeah? Also we've started recently to work on quantum biology and quantum machine learning and we are very excited about uh, the future of these disciplines. So my current focus is on the development of entangled single photon sources, specifically for the application of long-range free space quantum key distribution. This type of uh, technology will eventually mean ensuring security in terms of uh, their banking systems. Uh, ultimately, we know we use a very classical approach thus far to ensure security. However, it's not foolproof. With quantum technology using entanglement, we secure the encryption such that you cannot hack the system. The title of my PhD was Quantum Effects and Photosynthesis. It falls within the field of quantum biology, which is the study of those biological processes. I suppose the deep aim is to understand what is, what is life and what are these processes that biological systems do that we call living processes, how do they work. Um, but on a, on a broader scale, it would be great to understand what is life, where do we come from, um, are, there, are there living forms on other planets in our solar system, for example, have we evolved from these systems? The School of Chemistry and Physics merged in 2012 um, when the university went under, underwent a reconfiguration um, where the two departments of chemistry and physics were brought together. We've got um, a number of research groups so that cover areas such as space physics, uh, astrophysics, and now recently we're uh, starting a new platform in nanotechnology. The university's incubation centre, called Incubate, was established in 2012. The ultimate goal of Incubate is to provide an environment through which staff can continuously engage with government, the private sector and conduct research for the benefit of society, thereby increasing third stream income within the university. And in that context, QZN Technology is a very good example of a spin-off company developed through this commercialisation unit. QZN Technology was launched just before the 2010 FIFA World Cup. Um, we used uh, the success of the Quantum Stadium project, which was a project that encrypted the communication systems of the Moses Mubita Stadium to launch the, the company as well. The company currently offers encryption solutions and applied scientific consulting. We're in the process of product development for quantum technology-enabled products. Um, these products are looking at metrological applications um, such as quantum entanglement and measurement systems for high-end solutions as well. Education here yeah, has been so beneficial to me that uh, okay, it has increased uh, my human capital. Um, uh, I see myself as an asset uh, at, at, at some great company out there looking for to looking to, to employ. Uh, UKZN has really helped me a, a lot here. Uh, we've got lovely students, they're fantastic and they're really pushing the boundaries. 
their publications, if you look at the impact of their publications, the impact of conferences, it's, it's very dynamic and I think the strength that we have within the school is really our staff and our students and I think if you look into the future I think it's very, very bright for us.